Now, I didn't know whether to laugh or cry when I heard this. If you've ever seen the film Weird Science, he reminds me of the one on the motorbike who apologises for trashing the party. Remember that guy, Michael Berryman? I love that film. Have a listen to Gianni Infantino's speech, the president of FIFA. He starts by telling us that he has very, very strong feelings. I have uh, very strong feelings. I can tell you that. Today I feel uh, Qatari. Today I feel Arab. Today I feel African. Today I feel uh, gay. Hold on a minute. You don't just feel gay, you either are or you aren't. Let, let's hear some more, let's hear some more. Today I feel disabled. What? Today I feel uh, a migrant worker. And the situation of uh, hundreds of thousands of women and men from developing countries who would like to offer their services abroad in order to help and give a future to their families back home. Well, Qatar is actually offering them this opportunity. Uh, we know that many died building the stadiums. I think that is taking it a little bit far. European. Actually, I am European. Not just I feel European. I think for what we Europeans have been doing in the last 3,000 years around the world, we should be apologizing for the next 3,000 years before starting to give moral lessons. OK, so joking aside, has he got a point? Who are we to criticise Qatar? Look, I can't stand virtue signalling footballers and celebrities sitting on their moral high chairs on top of a load of cash. Why? Because they're hypocrites. And in my view, if you are vocal about agreeing, if you're vocal about not agreeing with the Qatar regime, then don't go and play there instead of virtue signalling with a load of paraphernalia. I mean, can you imagine what the kit would look like wearing rainbow laces, armbands, kneeling, etc.? They would end up looking like clowns. Mind you, the joke's on us, as, as much as I would love them to win. England, of course. Uh, we've got two hopes and one of them played golf. That's Bob Hope and no hope. Look, I don't agree with the regime in Qatar either. And I question how they won the bid, which was, in my view, in dubious circumstances. They even had to change the timetable, so it was hardly uh, suited for that country. But yesterday night, I got my sparkling brand new mobile phone that I'm struggling with at the moment because nothing's actually wired up on it at the moment, but I'm working on it, which I was pretty sure has components in it mined by slave labour, and I'm probably wearing clothes created through exploitation. I do my best to avoid this, but I'm not going to make a public show of how virtuous I am or demand removal of all links to slavery because I'm well aware that I'd be a hypocrite. And if I'm not prepared to dedicate my time to finding a solution, then I'm part of the problem. We all are. So is it time for the virtue signalers to take the politics out of sport and just get on with the game? Let he, he who is without sin cast the first stone.